Good day. Cooking in the meth end of town. Can you dig it? So last episode I showed you how to make a little uh, a little tuna pot pie out of food bank ingredients. I'm gonna I'm gonna do another variation of that right now uh, with other ingredients that I got from the food bank uh, that you may not know how to. You know, like, uh, if you looked at these ingredients and you said, I have to feed my family using these three things or four things, you know, it, you, this is how to do it. So we have the, uh, the box of holiday crackers from Christmas time that you get. Got another box of those. Taking the liberty of crushing them all up. You know how we crush everything up here. I have a pack of ramen noodles also all crushed up. A can of uh, chicken noodle soup that the food bank gave me. I've drained the liquid off of it and uh, reserved that. And I have a can of whole kernel Elmer's corn that I've also drained. So what I'm going to do first off I'm going to take a bit of this chicken broth from the soup and I'm going to add it to my crackers to make a dough like we did last time. Okay. That way, uh, you know, you're not wasting any of the stuff. It'd be a shame to throw away the soup broth, right? Okay, so that's pretty, uh, pretty doughy. So yeah, like I said before, these crackers have lots of oil in them, so you don't even have to... We're cooking all this in a microwave. It'd be better if it was baked, you know, but this is all about faking it, doing it, doing it the easy way or doing it with what you have available and uh, a lot of times all you have available is something like a microwave you can you know you can if all you have available is an oven you can do this in an oven too as long as you use oven safe cookware you know what I mean and microwave safe cookware too so yeah I'm just making a like we did before, kind of a, a crust in a bowl out of this uh, crackers. I'm going to microwave it. As you can see it's like a bowl full of crackers. Microwave that for about a minute. Um, yeah, so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to mix this uh, soup can of soup with the liquid drained off and the can of corn together. So we just got a container here. Okay. I got a thing here. So yeah, this is like a, kind of like a chicken pot pie. I mean, probably had better chicken pot pie. I can make a, I can make really good chicken pot pie, but this is how we're doing it today. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now Trying to bite in the bag. I'm usually against bite in the bag, but I'm trying to work fast here. Okay, I'm going to take this crushed ramen noodle, put it in the remaining soup broth without the packet. It'd be cool to. I don't know, often I find myself with an extensive collection of these. 
you know, kind of cool. All right, so now the noodles in the soup broth. So we're going to microwave that up. Get that going. And we're going to take this uh, corn soup mix, add some of that. I'm running too fast here. We gotta, we gotta mix the noodle in with the with that. Yeah. So we played Fuzz Fest yesterday at the spill. That was a real good time. Thanks if y'all came. There's another video down on my channel somewhere of uh, the first song my band played. Uh, it's a kind of a nice video of the ceiling lights flickering, but. It was mainly to get the audio. I just wanted to see how it would sound, you know? Yeah. Okay, so this is coming along. Oh, it's hot. Okay. Okay. That's pretty hot. I'm going to mix this all together. The noodles, the soup, the corn, all that stuff. All right. And we'll throw that in the pie. And there'll be some left over. You know, this is like this is the thing you can. Probably feed your, I'll, you know, when I make this, I'll probably eat this for the next two days. And you can probably, feed, and there's still, like, I only used about half of the, the stuff, right? So the way I like to make a pot pie is I like to put a, a crust on top. So I'm going to use the rest of these crackers to make a little crust on top. And usually I'd sprinkle in a little bit of maybe potato chips or something, but I didn't get any potato chips this time around. You gotta use what you get, right? That's the law on cooking in the meth end of town. If you can dig it. Sorry, I'm a little, I'm not quite myself today. It's, it's always a bit hard coming back from a, a Hurricane Charlie gig, cause uh, we try to leave it on the floor, if you know what I mean. Okay, so now what I have here is uh, basically this. It looks like a, I don't know, you can see it. And I'm going to microwave this for two minutes. And then we're going to see where we're at. And in the meantime, I'm going to get cleaned up here a bit. Yeah, Fuzz Fest, man, it's cool. It's like the, the you know, Peterborough has a wonderful, wonderful rock and roll scene, right? Garage bands, punk rock bands, uh, stuff like that. But it's also a town where there's not a lot of places for a lot of those bands to play all the time. Uh, music, the music here, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's kind of a buried scene in a lot of ways, it seems. And uh, it'd be nice to, it's nice when everybody can get out and get together and play and stuff. I had, I had a bit of a difficult time. I, my guitar broke in half before the gig. Uh, I kind of I left. I left after we finished playing. I thought I thought I I actually considered. Uh, I thought I was hurt after we finished playing. You know what I mean? I like to rock and roll, man. You know? Anyhow, so yeah, we're we're making this. Uh, we're almost done. This. This is a real easy recipe. And I'm gonna when it gets all done here. I'm gonna cut it cut into it and show you what it looks like. Plate. 
heavy duty. Okay, so we're almost done here. All right, I'm gonna let that go for another 30 seconds. All right. I hope uh, I hope you folks have been trying these recipes out. You know, like I say, we're we're faking the good life here. You know, it's all stuff you can make out of stuff you get from the food bank or the you know if you're locked up from the prison commissary. Uh, you know, whatever. It's easy. It's quick. In most cases, it's free. All right. Whoa, that's hot. Okay. So we got this a chicken, a pot pie. And I'm just going to try to cut a serving of it off here. Because I'm kind of hungry. It's kind of falling apart, but you get the idea. Like, this is the way to feed your family off a pack of ramen, a can of soup, a box of crackers, and a can of corn. For literally, you can feed your family. I'm only eating about a quarter of this, of this pie. Can you see this here? And that's what I got.